Hello guys, what's going on? It's your boy Easy RGH Mods here, and so today, um, I kind of have a somewhat setup video, not setup video on how to um, install uh, Xbox 360 Neighborhood. Now, if you don't know what that is, you can access your uh, Xbox, your Xbox's files through this, you know, through neighborhood, and all it does is, you know, like you connect, edit your files, drop things really fast and easier, easy. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. So the first thing you guys are going to need to know before you do this is that you must have an internet connection that is locally, meaning that you cannot be on your neighbor's network and then your computer is on your network. No, it has to be local. So the first thing what you guys are going to want to do is install Xbox 360 Neighborhood. Now I'm not going to I'm not going to install it, but I'm going to be showing you how. To, well, I'm just going to be showing you guys the link. So you're going to so you're going to want to type in Xbox 360 Neighborhood, and then here you know you guys are going to get a bunch of videos and all that. Now, which one do I go to? So, here, you know, I'm just going to cl click on a link of a video on already how to install it. Um, but all I'm going to be showing you is where it is. So, here you, here I'll provide the links in the description of everything that you guys will need. Now, what a lot of people think is, um, I will need Visual Studio 2010. Well, you don't. Uh, it's not necessary unless you guys want to do the full installation. So yes, guys, this is a torrent, um, but I mean, don't let this scare you just because it's on the pirate bay. Um, I mean, sure, this might be illegal. It's an SDK that's not supposed to be out. But you guys will then just say, "Get this torrent." You guys will need you torrent. So after you guys have then you know downloaded it, installed it, you'll then just double click. You know, full inst uh, do minimum installation. There's absolutely nothing different that I've seen on my end. And then after you guys are then done with it, uh, you guys can then open it. And so then here, um, you know, it, it will take a while to install. It's five point. It's one point five six gigabytes, so it's going to be long. And after you guys have then officially installed it you guys will see something like this now here I've had a bunch of OGHs connect to this because uh, I install new KVs and when you guys install new KV you guys will need to get on your Xbox go to configure network and look for your um, Xbox's IP address now you guys don't get your default gateway you just get your uh, Xbox's IP address, and I can't talk right now. So, now what you guys will oh my goodness, I'm not going to answer this. So, what you guys will need to do is go to your Xbox, and here what I can, actually, what I can just do is open this up. And then here we're just going to go to Elgato Gaming, and I'll show you guys how this works. And what you guys would just need to do is have your Xbox open and all that and then get a flash drive you guys will need XCX menu installed by the way and dash launch uh, I'll put links in those in the description so open up XCX menu pretty simple if you wanna if you have a flash drive at the moment uh, plug it in and now you guys will just plug it in and then you'll get your XBDM plugin, which will connect you to your Xbox, to your computer wires, wirelessly. So I think here mine is in the plugins folder somewhere. So you guys will copy it, you'll hit Y, copy, and then you'll just hit Y and paste. Now, it doesn't matter if you put it on the root of your hard drive, it really doesn't matter. And then what you'll do is you'll get dash launch, you'll hit Y, copy, and then paste. Now, 
I have dash launch version something. Here, I'll, I'll show you. Uh, dash launch 3.12. And I've seen so many people have problems with it. You know, network doesn't work and all that. But it does for me for some reason. And so, after that, you guys will restart your Xbox. I'm not going to restart it because there is no necessary point for me to install, restart my Xbox. So after you've done that, be sure that you are on the same network. You'll go to System, Network Settings, you'll hit on your um, network, go to Configure, and then here mine is 10.0.0.34. Now that is usually a Comcast slash Xfinity modem uh, IP. And I think AT&T and Netgear and Linksys are 192.168. I think those are actually default gateways. Um, my gateway is 10.0.1, which I don't even know why the hell that really matters. So after you found your IP, let's kind of minimize this. Yeah, I know. I'm using an exploit. What did you? Uh, I didn't say that. So anyway, um. You'll hit add xbox, you'll hit next, and then you'll just type in your IP, uh, 34, and then, I'm not gonna do it, and then you'll say, do you, actually, you know what, let's do it. You'll hit, right click, delete, uh, add xbox, 10.0.0.34, and just hit enter, and then it'll say, do you want to use this as a development kit? You'll hit yes, yes, finish. And after that, um, you will then see that your JTAG appears. Now, since I have a really crappy internet card, even though it's an Asus, I think it's like 70 bucks. And so, there you go. Your JTAG will then be prompt. And what, just a little hint, if you guys are using tools that use like RPC connections, what they will also do is that they will use the connection of the neighborhood. They will not just do the plugin, they will do the connection of the neighborhood. So be sure that you have this set to your priority. So you know like right click and then set as uh like this you will see. Set as default Xbox 360. So double click on it. Um retail hard drive is usually what you'll be looking at. And then yeah. Um, that's basically it. It's a really quick video. Uh, I'm skipping most of the installs and all that. Um, I'll probably make a more in-depth tutorial later. But this is more of a gist. Now, if, now if you guys aren't good with uh, computers, um, there are other tutorials out there. But if you are pretty experienced, um, you guys should be able to do this pretty quick. Um, so yeah, there you guys go. Um, here you guys can access whatever and not only that you can actually open up games from um, neighborhood so if you just double click on you know default.xex which is on the gt5 uh, then you guys can just do it from there now another thing is is how long will it take to put a game onto here now it will take a, a while because number one you have to uh, look at your internet speeds. Most people's internet speeds aren't that fast. They're actually crap. Um, so yeah, if you guys are running like 30, 70 megabyte megabytes, you'll it'll take a good eh, good three or four hours to put a game on there, and it's mostly because you. Xbox 360 hard drive has to render that and jokes on you it's not fast at all I mean the hard drive speeds the RPM are total crap now I don't even know if you could actually install an SSD onto your Xbox but I mean that would help a lot faster but Xbox the Xbox can't comprehend the, the Xbox 360 hard drive can't comprehend that much. So yeah, it's a bit of a, a bit of a sticky situation. If you guys are gonna put games, which I don't do that, I just grab through Saldash 
and then just do a DVD extract. And yeah. So, hope you guys did enjoy. You guys can check me out on Seven Sins if you want. I'm, you know, here trying to. <laughs> I mean, you know, nothing really. Check me out on Seven, seven Sins. Uh, everything Card X. Here I am. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm a premium member. Yeah, I, uh, I, I pay for it. Okay, so I hope you guys did enjoy this awkward video. Uh, anyways, um, hope you guys did enjoy it. And so, yeah. I don't really know how to end this video that much. But I will be live streaming on YouTube, actually.